Hello, hello, how are you today? Bye bye. Hello, teacher. Hello, Claudia, how are you today? Hi, hi. Excellent. Hi, Rene, how are you? Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Diego. Hi, teacher, good evening. Hi. How are you today? Uh, pretty good. What's in with you, teacher? Fine, fine. Ready. Ready okay. Day. Yes. Ready to start the class. Exactly. Hi, Jonathan. Hello, Ernesto. Hi. Hello, Salvador. Hello, teacher. How are you? Well, we're ready, right? Today we have, we are going to be questions. Yes, no questions. Remember yesterday we were making sentences in affirmative and today we are going to be talking about questions, right? With the simple present. Go to the attendance. Claudia, did you say present? Present. Excellent. Claudia Xiomara. Present. Okay, let's leave the microphone off, please. Thank you. Microphones. Okay, there we go. Daniel Antonio. Daniel Antonio. Present. Okay, great. Daisy Yesenia. Daisy. Present. Diego okay. Armando. Diego. Present. Diego, Diego, where are you? I'm here, person. Okay, now I see you. Stephanie Jamlet. Stephanie, no here, Stephanie Yemelet. Henry Salet, no here. Jonathan David. Present. Okay, great. Jorge Nelson. Jorge Nelson, no here. Jose Ernesto. Present. Okay, great. Lea Rebeca. Marielena. Marielena. Marlon Edmundo. 
Madeline. Present teacher. Okay, great. Present. Thank you. Nelson. Nelson Alberto. Nelson, no. Rafael Antonio. Rafael. Not here. Ricardo Antonio. Ricardo. Rina Rina. Presente. Okay, thank you. Ruth Esther. Ruth, no here. Salvador Antonio. Present. Barbie. Present. Zulma Lorena. Present. Teacher. Thank you, Zulma. Rene Guardado. Present. Excellent. Okay, great. Well, somebody uh, is here and didn't tell me present. Somebody who didn't tell me present. Yeah, hello, present. Nelson Alberto. Nelson Alberto, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, fine, fine. Okay, there you are. Somebody else that uh, got late? Nobody else. Okay. Well, let's start then. I'm going to share the the screen with you. Check. Here, uh, we are beginning our class numbers. Number seven. Today, uh, we are going to be asking questions, right? Yes, no questions. But tell me, before we start with the questions, do you have any questions about yesterday's class? What do you do? What do you do every day? Mm -hmm. What do you do? Claudia Claudia Xiomara, can you tell me about you? What do you do? Something about your routine. Mm -hmm. eh, teacher, esto es sobre la, las actividades que hacemos en la en el trabajo. Yes, yes. Okay. So you say I. Uh, mm -hmm. I type late. Uh, una de una de ellas puede ser a uh, check bill of lading. I chat. Can you repeat? Check, check bill of lading. Okay, you chat. Who do you mm -hmm. chat with? Who do you chat with? I chat with my clients. I chat with my boss. No comprendo. Chat. You told me you chat, right? Chat. Conversar. Uh -huh. Con quien? Um, clients. With clients. Okay, very good. Every morning, every afternoon, or all day? All day. All day. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Claudia. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Daisy, tell me, what do you do? Claudia Diaz and Diego, complete names. The name, Diego, Claudia. Nombre completo, Rina. Rina, Rina, me les falta un nombre. Yes. Okay, Daisy, can you give me an example? What do you do in your office? Um, Sharia, I serve the clients 
Okay, I serve then, with clients or customers. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, eh, sería, ¿cómo sería? Lo que hago prácticamente es igual cobrar, soy cajera. Okay, you charge. You charge. Uh -huh. You charge. The, the, the y también product. facturo. Okay, you make invoice then. You make invoice. Okay, very good, Daisy. Jorge, can you tell me what you do? Thank you, Daisy. What do you do in your work? Hey, uh, uh, Custos uh, Executive. Mm -hmm. um, uh, no sé cómo decirle. Veo toda la parte del área de aduanas. Ok. So you work with things related to aduanas. Ok. 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 Um, eh, para una empresa privada, ¿verdad? todo lo que tiene que ver con, con la parte aduanera. Ok. For a private company. So you work, you can say I work for a private company. Ok. Okay, thank you, Jorge. Let's listen to Salvador. Salvador, what do you do? Hi, teacher. Um, I print checks. Okay. And make taxes. I'm supervise my assistant. My assistant. Okay, good assistance. Very good. Okay, thank you. Now let's listen to Rina. Rina, what do you do in your workplace? What do you do? Rina, hello. Hi, hi. Hello, teacher. Um, Digámoslo en español, sinceramente no. ¿Qué hace YouTube? ¿Qué hace? ¿Qué hace en su trabajo? Um, service customer. I serve customers. Uh -huh. I serve customers. Sí, uh, atender a clientes, despachar clientes en la farmacia. <laughs> ok. So you sell products in the pharmacy. Yes. You sell products in the pharmacy. Okay, great. Thank you, thank you. Jose Ernesto, what do you do? Jose Ernesto, what do you do? Check your manager. I am, I am, I am manager. Okay, you are a manager. And what do you do? You supervise people. What activities? What activities do you do in your workplace as your routine, right? ¿Cuál es su routine? Para... Uh -huh. Un par de cosas. La, la rutina, pues no sé cómo enlazar, pero meeting, reuniones. I have meetings. I, I have many meetings, um, supervisor, supervisor. Okay, I supervise, okay. You supervise people, yes? People, people. ¿se acuerda sí. la palabra people? People, gente. Okay, you supervise Personas. people. Personas, sí. Exactly. exactly. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you, Ernesto. One last volunteer. Well, volunteers, right? Let's see, Claudia, Carolina. Hello. Okay, I have a volunteer. Okay, Nelson, tell me what you do. It's okay. My, my daily routine is, uh, my work is, for example, now I, I was facing the parking lot. Okay. Take my hands. Oh, you work. Uh, yes, I I work in I work in all night. Okay. So I I will work all night. I do overtime sometimes. 
Okay. I check, I check security, security cameras, and I work one week at night and one during the day. I'm from, uh, I from, I from various trades. Excellent, thank you. So you see, I work sometimes on the day during the day and sometimes during the night. So that's yes. a shift, a shift changing. Okay, and the last one, Claudia Carolina. Claudia Carolina. Okay, Hello. I send the email. Yeah. I receive call. Okay. I print the report. I type the reports. You type the reports and you print. Okay. Great. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Now, any questions about yesterday's class? Any questions? No questions? No? Okay. Well, today we are going to make questions. Check. Yes, no questions. ¿Por qué se llaman yes, no questions? ¿Quién me puede decir? ¿Por qué se llaman así? Because it's a short answer. Mm -hmm. Exactly. For example, uh, for example do, you like, do you like music? Do you, do you listen to music? Yes, I do. No, it's necessary. Yes. Yes, I love, I like the music. It's ah. only your answer. Yes, I do. Okay, yeah, that's true. You are only answering yes or no, right? So you're not giving extra information. Masaya. Vamos a ver information questions, right? But today only yes, no. So you answer only yes I do. or no, I don't. Depending on... Uh, the question, right? Look at the examples. Do I get up early? Do I get up early? What do you think? Do I get up early? Then you say yes. Yes, you do. Oh, no, you don't. Do you call other companies? Do you call other companies? Mm? No. Tell me about you. Do you call other companies? Yes, no. Uh -huh. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. Do they transport the product? Do they transport the product? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Or? Or no, they don't. No, they don't. Do we check the policies? Do we check yes, the we policies? Do. Yes. Do. We. See? Do we do we check the policies? Yes, we do. Or no, no we, don't. we don't. We don't. No, we don't. Okay. Very good. Any questions about this? No questions? No, I don't have questions. Okay, look at this. When we use yes, no questions, as I said, the only options are yes, I do, or no, I don't. Because we are no. asking short, no, I don't. short questions. Do you speak German? No, I don't. No? You don't. That's when when I am drunk. <laughs> In on October fest. Okay, on October fest, you speak German. Okay. <laughs> what uh, what language do you speak? Do you speak Spanish? Yes. I yes. Do. I do. Do you speak French? No, I don't. No, I, don't. I don't. Do you speak English? I'm starting to speak English. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yes. So you can say yes, I do. Yes. Yes, yes I, I do. do. Of course. Of course. Do you speak Chinese? No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't. And I want and I don't want. 
Okay, and you don't want to speak Chinese. Mandarin. Yes? Mandarin. Mandarin. It's not easy, right? It's not easy. Okay, look at these questions. Do you work in an office? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, check. No, I don't. When we say do, if you remember in the affirmative sentence, you said I work in an office and in negative, I don't work in an office, right? Pero en la pregunta siempre tenemos que usar el auxiliar. Okay? It's not possible. It's not possible to make a question without the auxiliar. Do you work in an office? Yes or no? Yes, I do. Yes. yes. No, okay. I don't. Some will say no. Okay. Do you live in, in San Salvador? Yes, no, I do. I... Do you live in San Salvador? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. All of you live in San Salvador? Yes? No. No, yes, I, I do. No, no, I. No, I. I. Oh. No, ok, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre este tipo de preguntas y las que usamos la semana pasada con el verbo to be? Por ejemplo, si yo les pregunto, ¿Are you a doctor? ¿Qué me responden? ¿Are you a doctor? No, I don't. No, I. I'm, no, I am not. Ajá. Uh -huh. Are you a doctor? No, I'm not. Do you work as a doctor? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to share. I'm going to add a page here. Let's see. Check. Because I want you to see this. Okay. Check the questions. Son yes, no questions, la tos. Pero va a depender de qué es lo que están usando. Si yo digo, are you a doctor? ¿Qué respondemos? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Good. Or yes, I am. Ajá. No, I'm not. Oh. Yes, I am. Very good. Uh -huh. Do you work? Do you work as a doctor? Porque uh -huh. okay. es doctor, pero no trabaja como doctor. Es ingeniero, pero no trabaja como ingeniero. Trabaja como algo más. Okay. Do you work as a doctor? Yes. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh. Or no, I don't. Aha, uh -huh. no, I don't. Okay. Yes, I do. I get it. No, I don't. Do you have a do you have a red car? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. I simply tiene que ser capital letters, right? Do you have a red car? Yes, I? I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Is your car red? Yes, is your it car is. Red? Yes. It is. Exactly. Yes, it is. Okay, you see the difference. Aquí vamos combinando eh, yes, no questions with the simple present. And the yes, no questions of the verb to be. Check. Si mi pregunta está con el verbo to be, yo respondo con el verbo to be. ¿Sí? Yes, I am. Si me preguntan, o sea, depende de qué me preguntan. Si me preguntan con el verbo to be, respondo con el verbo to be. Si me preguntan con tu yo voy a responder con yo. 
que es, depende del Let's make it a little bigger. Okay, any questions? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me, are you a student? Are you a student? Yes. Yes, 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 I am. Yes, I am. Very good. Are you an astronaut? No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Uh -huh. no, I'm uh, not. Do you travel a lot? Do you travel no, a lot? No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Do you sleep eight hours a night? No, I don't. Okay. No, I don't. Are you a good? Are you a good student? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yeah. Okay. Are you Salvadorian? Yes. I yes, am. I am. I am. Do you live in El Salvador? Yes, I yes. Do. yes, I am. Yes, I do. I live. Do you live in El Salvador? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Entonces, chequen eso. Si les pregunto con el verbo to be, me responden con el verbo. Si les pregunto con do, me responden. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Tenemos más tiempo. Vamos a seguir con esto. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, look at the examples. Remember what I was telling you. We always need the auxiliary. En español, no existen los auxiliares para pregunta. Su mamá le pregunta, ¿ya comiste? ¿Te fuiste? Right? Estudiaste, ya te dormiste. So we do not use auxiliary. They don't exist. But in English, it is totally necessary. Yeah, totally necessary. I cannot make a question without an auxiliary. Hoy, hoy, igual que ayer que estuvimos trabajando solamente con you, we, they, Igual vamos a estar ahora solamente trabajando con we, you, J. ¿Ok? Remember, do you, do you, yes, do you, do they, do they, do we, yes, do they, do we, we. do you, do you, Okay, tomorrow, tomorrow, we are going to be using the other, uh, the third person, right? And then you will say, does he, does that she, pero hoy no, hoy nos quedaremos solamente con do. Do you work in an office? Do you work in an office? No, I don't. No, I don't. Are you an office worker? Are you an office worker? No. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Very good. Do you live in San Salvador? Yes, I do. Yes, yes I, I do. do. Do they work hard? Do they work hard? Yes? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Do we have a pet? Yes, I do. Do we have a pet? Yes, we? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Do you read English books? Yes, I do. Okay. Do they listen to music? All the time. Yes, I do. Yes, they do. Okay. Okay, check. Do you live in Sado? Yes, I, because I'm asking you. Do they, 
they do they live in San Salvador? Yes, they do. They do they work hard? They no me. Okay, no you. They right? Do they work hard? Then you say yes. They do. Yes, they do. Oh no, they don't. Oh no, they don't. Exactly. Do we? We, if we say we, we are all involved, right? We are all included. Do we have a pet? Do we have a pet? Yes? No, we don't. We do or no, we don't. No, we don't have a pet. Do we have a pet? No, we don't. No, we don't. Do you, you, do you read English books? Do you? Do you read English books? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Or? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. Do you read English books? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. Yes, I do. Do they listen to music? They? Right? Yes, I do. Do they listen to music? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Do they listen to music? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Do, oh, no, do they you don't. listen to music? Do you listen to music in English? Yes, yes I, I do. do. Yes, I do. Right. Now, we're going to make some questions. I'm going to show you some pictures here. And we're going to make some questions, right? Okay, what can you ask here? Do, remember, do you, <clears throat> do we or do they? No nos vamos a ir a das he, hoy, hoy, so mañana. Okay, so you can look at the picture and say, do you? Do you, la do you like play uh, golf? Okay, do you like playing golf? Mm -hmm. Do you like playing golf? Or do you no. play golf? <clears throat> uh -huh. Do you, do you like do? sleeping today? No. Do you do you like sleeping? Of course. Of course. Yeah. Do you have a cat? Do you have a cat? Okay. Do you like playing? Uh -huh. Do you like playing golf? And then the first could it be, uh, do you like to wear a watch? Do you like to wear a watch? Yeah. Okay. Aquí les quiero llamar al, uh, a que vean esto. Do you like to wear or do you like playing? Es posible que usemos los dos? Yes. Yes, please. Okay. This was the like. Do you like wearing a like, watch? Uh -huh, exactly. Do you, with the like, podemos usar o ING o tú, ¿verdad? So you say, do you like to wear a watch? Yes, I do. Do you like to play golf? Yes, I do. Do you like wearing a watch? Yes. Do you like playing golf? Yes. Okay, so it is the same. Allí no hay diferencia entre uno y el otro. Okay, what about here? What did you tell me about the cat? Do you? Do you have a cat? Ah, okay. Have a do you have a cat? Do you have a yellow cat? Yes. So you say, do you have a cat? Yes. Do you have a pet? Do you have a pet? Yes. Uh -huh. What else can you ask here? Do you have a yellow cat? No, I don't. Do you like animals? Do you no. like animals? Yeah. Do you like cats? Yes. Do you like the game? Do you like the games? Okay. Mm, great. Great, great. 
Now, let's go to the next question. What about here? What, what can you tell me? Do they? Aquí vamos a usar they porque hay varios. ¿Sí? Do they? Do they like read books? Okay, do they? Do they like reading books? Reading books. They, do you like? Do they like to read books? Do, you, do they like to read books? Very good. Reading. Or reading. Uh -huh. Do you like? Do you like to read books or do you like reading books? Okay. What else can we ask there? Do they study? Do they practice? Do they practice what? Yoga. Oh, okay. Ah, for the woman. Pero qué más yeah. podemos preguntar sobre estos hijos? Do they? Do they? Do they study at the university? Yes. Okay. Do they study at the university? Teacher. Tell me. Eh, Marlon está comentando en el grupo de WhatsApp que les lo sacó de la, de la clase y no puede acceder. ¿Quién lo sacó de la clase? Uh, eh, se, se salió, o sea, y no tiene conexión. Dice. Oh, okay. Ahí acaba de mandar algo al grupo del WhatsApp. El internet quizás se le ha caído. Sí, puede reiniciar el router o checar si la computadora se ha desconectado también. Okay. Okay, let's see. So, do they like reading books? For so, example, in, in one picture is, do they like mirroring? Do they like? Mirroring. Oh, okay. O podemos, podemos evitar decir like solamente, ¿verdad? Y podemos decir, do they meet? ¿Cuánto? Do they meet? Often? Okay. Do they meet often? Frecuentemente, ¿verdad? Frecuentemente, often. Do they meet often? ¿Se reúnen frecuentemente? Y podemos decir sí. Meet often to study. Ok. Do they mm -hmm. study? Ok. Do they study? Great. Ok, now let's ask about the woman here. What can you tell me about her? Does she? Pero vamos a usar you, ¿verdad? Porque no vamos a usar she todavía. Ok. Do you like to pra practice Do you, yoga? Ok. Do you practice yoga? Do you practice yoga? Uh -huh. Do you practice yoga? Mm -hmm. Yes, no. No, I don't. No, I don't, I don't either. Okay. Huh. Do you... ¿Qué más podemos preguntar? Do you... Do you sleep in the sofa? Okay, sleep. Okay, split in the on the sofa. Okay, great. Do you relax do you, with the yoga? Do you have a pillow? Do you have a pillow? Oh yes. Do you have 
Do you have many books? Do you have many books? Yes. Do you have many books? Yes, I have a lot of books. Okay. Okay, right. great. Algo más que quieran preguntar sobre ella o nos vamos al job. Okay, tell me about the job. Do you? Do you? What can we ask about the dog? Mm -hmm. Do you like American bullies? Okay. Like American bullies? No. Do you like American bully breed? They are too. Uh, they are too angry, right? No, they don't. Oh, they are not angry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have a dog? Okay, write yeah. your question, right? Complete your question as, as you wish. Do you have a dog? Do you have a black dog? What else can we add there? Uh -huh. Yes, I do. I have a black dog. Okay, you have a black dog. Very good. Let's go to the next pictures. Check here. What can you tell me there? Mm -hmm. Do you like fishing? Do you like fishing? Yeah. I, I have never gone fishing. Have you gone fishing before? Yes. Do you uh, like about fishing? a long time ago? Oh, okay. Is it easy to go fishing? No, you must be patient. Oh. <laughs> very, very patient. Okay, yeah, because you have to wait a lot until the fish get there. Any other do you, question? Do you have a, a hat? Do you have a hat? Do you have a hat? Okay. Do you have a hat? Yeah. Do you have a mustache? Thank you, mustache. Do you like bosin? What did you say? Do you like bosin? Do you like fishing? Okay. Fishing. Do you like salmon? Salmon, yes, delicious. Routine. Routine. Routine, no. negocio. Business, yes. Do you have a business? Okay. Do you have a business? Solo vamos a escribir esta. Do you like salmon? Do you like salmon? Okay, what about this one? Do you have do you a business like, with that? Do you like shake hands? Okay, do you have a business? Do you miss shaking hands? ¿Saben qué es miss? Do you what? Do you miss? Extrañar, ah, uh, yeah. Extrañar, <laughs> sí, porque pues que se supone. Sí, se supone que no saludamos a nadie con de mano. We don't shake hands anymore. Right? Do you have a business or do you miss shaking hands? Right? Do you miss meeting people? Oh, okay, do you miss meeting? Okay. Like, what about the last one? Look at the last one. Do you like read books? Okay. Do you read? Do you read okay. books? Okay. Do you read books in English? In English. Do you read books in English? I try. Okay. <laughs> reading. Yes, I do. do you like reading? Do you yes. have 
collection of books. Okay, do you have a collection of books? Great. I like it. Do you have? Do you like to go to the library? Books. Do you like to go to the laboratory? Okay. Or library? Uh, do, do, you library? Like to... do you like to go to the library? Do you go to the library? Do you read? Yeah. Do you read books? In English, do you read books in Spanish? Do you read adventures? Yeah. Do you read adventures? Do you read comedy? Ahí se puede ir cambiando la pregunta. Do you? Okay. Do you? Yes. Any question? Any question? Question. No questions. Okay. I'm going to go back to the previous question. Let me see. Go back here. Oh, miren qué pasó aquí. ¿Qué me le falta a las primeras dos preguntas? Un signo de pregunta. Sí, teacher, qué barbaridad. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Yo lo dije, pero no me hizo caso. Really? Oh, so sorry. Okay, yeah, the question mark. Es para que después, sure. es para que después se acuerden, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. Yes, teacher, ya, ya le vamos a creer. Okay, so. Teacher, yeah. how, how do you say signo de interrogación? A question mark. That's a question. A question mark. Ya le voy a escribir. A question mark. Question. Question. I'm going to write it here. I'm going to write it here. So you write it like this question mark. Yes. Question mark. That's a question. Mark. Okay, thank you. Teacher, in este caso no, no se le dice sign, the signo. No, it's a mark. That's a question mark. Y fíjense que es bien importante que, por ejemplo, alguien preguntó anoche. Eh, llama lo que no lo dejaba pasar. Y eso sucede o que se lo pone malo. ¿Hasta cuándo no le pone los signos correspondientes? Por ejemplo, el, el period. ¿Sí? El period. Cuando nosotros estamos en una, escribiendo una oración, ya sea afirmativa o negativa, eh, vamos a usar el, el, el question mark, ¿verdad? Le vamos a poner question mark eh, a la pregunta y period a la oración, afirmativa o negativa, take a period, ¿sí? Siempre, al final de la oración llevamos un pero hay otro detalle que también tienen que tener en cuenta cuando están escribiendo eh, una oración. Dejemos los micrófonos en mute un ratito. Sí, check this. Check this. ¿Se acuerdan que ayer hablábamos de las capital letters, verdad? Sí. ¿Qué son las capital letters? Las mayúsculas. Las mayúsculas. Fíjense que a veces, eh, no sé si ustedes se han fijado, que hay gente que escribe todo en letra mayúscula. ¿Se han fijado en eso? Sí. Sí. Hay gente que todo, todo, todo lo escribe con letra mayúscula. Y eso también. Uy, ¿Por qué? Fíjense que se oye un background bastante fuerte, no sé de dónde viene. Sí, yo escucho como una motocicleta o algo así por ahí. Si me colaboran por allí. ¿sí? 
es que se oye como que fuera música así, como hip hop. No sé. <risa> ok, va, check. So, si hablamos de capital letter, el capital letter va a ir siempre al principio, ya sea una oración, una oración o una pregunta, ¿verdad? Siempre vamos a empezar con capital letter. Entonces, cuando terminamos la oración, igual tenemos que poner punto, que eso sea una costumbre poner punto cuando terminamos la oración. Y la capital letter, si se fijan, se usa al principio de cada oración, se usa en la palabra hay, ¿se acuerdan que mencionábamos esto ayer? Hay, siempre hay, va a ir con capital letter. Y lo otro es, por ejemplo, si yo estoy escribiendo nombres propios de personas, de lugares, los nombres de los países van con capital letter. Los títulos, ¿verdad? Sir, Mister, Miss, Misses, todos los títulos van con mayúscula, o sea, con mayúscula, letra, con mayúscula. Another thing es eh, lo que les estaba comentando. Muchas veces sucede que hay gente que escribe todo con mayúscula y cuando usted está escribiendo todo en mayúscula, se está saltando la regla ortográfica que nos dicen cuáles son los usos de las mayúsculas. Y en internet eso significa otra cosa. ¿Qué significa que yo escriba todo en mayúscula? ¿Quién me dice? Uh -huh. ¿Qué, ¿Qué significa? Si yo escribo todo, toda una oración o toda una frase en mayúscula cuando le estoy escribiendo a alguien por correo o por mensaje de texto. Ah, en ese caso se dice que está gritando. Exacto, está gritando. Si yo estoy en mi cuaderno y solamente escribo letra mayúscula, eso se convierte en un error de ortografía, ¿verdad? Porque las mayúsculas ya dijimos se ocupan en situaciones específicas, no todo el tiempo. Pero si lo escribo online, se convierte en algo mayor todavía, porque entonces estamos gritando. ¿Verdad? Le estamos gritando a otra persona. Be careful. Be careful there. Remember. Question. And, and, excuse me. Sí. And with that little point, when you call it period and, and when you call it dot. Oh, good question. Good question. Let me, quiero ver. I'm going to add a page here and I'm going to show you. When we have a, we have different, we call them a punctuation, right? Punctuation. So if we have mm, my name, my name is Soy. Yes. My name is Soila. Let's make it clear. My name is Soila. Este es un period. Sí. Este es un period. Pero si yo pongo I got let's put it in black. I got 9.5 in the exam. Yes, I got 9.5 in the exam. Este ya no es period. Sí. Y si usted dice, my email is Pedrito underscore eh, Pérez at gmail.com oh, okay. Este ya no es period tampoco ni tampoco es point. Point. Va a ser dot. Dot. Uh -huh. Entonces, acá se llama period 
cuando terminamos una oración es period. Cuando okay. está en medio de números, ya sea número porque está haciendo algo de matemáticas o en este caso que me está dando una nota, pero si está en medio de números es point. ¿Cómo se llama? Point. 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 Y cuando se trata de un email address, ¿se llama? Es a dot. Dot. Exactly. That's a okay. dot. Entonces, eh, recibe un nombre diferente dependiendo del uso. ¿verdad? Ok, ok. Very interesting, teacher. Thank you so much. Teacher. Tell me. Can you write that? What did you say? Puede escribir la pronunciación. La palabra dot. Vamos a ver si hayamos por aquí un lápiz. Para que se vea diferente. Este es Aquí vamos a bajar este un poquito. Este es point. Point. Y si estamos en este caso, este es dot. Uh -huh. Period. Al final de la oración. Este de acá también es period, ¿verdad? Porque está al final de la oración. Entonces, period al final de la oración, point en matemáticas y dot en el email. Uh -huh. Any question over there? Yes. Siempre, uh, siempre de guión bajo. Uh, en under, under, underscore. underscore. Sí, underscore. No, si en vez de ese de, de, del guión bajo fuese un punto. Dot. Siempre sería dot. Siempre dot. Sí. O sea que me, la pronunciación me lo da. Eh, el uso, el uso que le está dando. Ok. Uh -huh. El uso que le está dando. Por ejemplo, entre números o sea, en matemáticas siempre va a ser point. ¿Verdad? Right. Si es al final de una oración, siempre va a ser period. period. Ya sea oración con punto y final, punto y, y seguido, ¿verdad? Que también en inglés existe el punto y seguido, pero... Le ponemos period, period y sigue, ¿verdad? No como en español que decimos punto y seguido, punto y aparte. Aquí solamente va a decir period. In that, just when, when we are talking about an email e address. Mm -hmm. If you're talking about an email address, you say dot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. Now, let's go. Now, let's talk, uh, well, before we continue with the other exercise, I need to send you here. Oh, let's go to attendance. Let's go to the attendance and then I will send you to do one exercise together. Ready, Claudia Carolina. Claudia Carolina. Present. Great. Claudia Xiomara. Present. Nice. Daniel Antonio. Present. Great. Daisy Yesenia. Present. Diego Armando. Present. Diego Armando. Present. No lo miro. Camera. Uh, ah, okay, perfect. Present. Okay, excellent. Hey, uh, Stephanie Jamlet. 
Present. Great, Stephanie. Henry Salet. Present. Okay. Hey, nice to meet you. Thank you. Great. Jorge Nelson. Jorge Nelson. No here, Jorge Nelson. Present. Present. Okay. Sí, ya me parecía que lo había visto. <laughs> José Ernesto. José Ernesto. Present. Okay. Present. Ahí está. Eh, Lea Rebeca. Present. María Elena. María Elena. María Elena. María Elena no viene aquí. Marlon Edmundo. Present teacher. Okay, great. Nelson Alberto. Present. Excelente. Rafael. Rafael. No here, Rafael. Ricardo. Ricardo. Rina Aura. Present. Excelente. Ruth Esther. Salvador. Present. Great. And Zul Zulma Lorena. Present. Ok, nice. René Guardado. Present. Ok, very good. There we go. Eh, now, I'm going to send you. I'm going to send you to the rooms. Sí. I'm going to work in, in groups of three. Okay. Groups of three. What you're going to do is complete this exercise. I'm going to show you. Okay. So this is the exercise that you're going to go and work together with your partner. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Perfect. So you have some questions. What you're going to do is go to the room and ask the questions to your partners. Yes. Go and ask the questions to your partners. La segunda parte, esto todavía no lo vamos a hacer. Esto va a ser para más adelantito. Ok. Lo que vamos a hacer ahorita es. Sí. Ok. Let's go there. You can take a picture or you can copy what you prefer. Take a picture, make a capture, or copy. It's best copy. Okay, better, better, better. Tell me when you finish. No, no, yet. Okay. Thank you. 
Henry, hágame un favor. Eh, póngase uh -huh. el nombre completo según su DUI, así como está registrado. Sí, está bien. Okay, are you ready? Ready, ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Let's go to the rooms then. Let me see. There you go. Ask the questions. Take turns asking and answering the questions to your partners and write the answers, okay? Write the answers, there you go. Okay, join the room, join the room. Excellent. No, I don't. También. Yes. 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 Yes, can giving the complete answer. Yes, I do. Yes. I do. Okay, here we go. Teacher, no, sorry, I uh, just they do, but they said do they say which one? Number two. Okay. Yes, do. Yes, they do. Nice. Because the question is do they? Right? Yes, they do. Oh no, they don't. Oh no, they don't. Exactly. Depends, right? Yes, they do. Oh no, they don't. Mm, number three, Saria. Yes, we do. Or no, we don't. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Number. Oh, yes, I no, I, no, I don't. Sería, bueno, yo no estoy. No, yo tampoco. Do they yes. travel for business? No, they don't. Okay. 
Esa pregunta no la entiendo. ¿Qué dice en español? Which one? Number two. Que si ellos mm. viajan por negocios. Si ellos viajan para, ajá, por negocios. Number six. Do they six. Yes. Yeah. Si viajan por negocios. Bueno, en mi caso sería yes. Yes. Um, day, day. Porque acuérdense que están preguntando day, ¿verdad? No do you, sino que do day. Uh -huh. Day. Uh -huh. Como hey, hey, oh. Ellos. Ellos. Uh -huh. Yes, they do. O no, they don't. No, they don't. Ok. Excellent. Coming, coming, coming. Nice. I guess everybody came. Yep. Oh, good. Good, good. Okay. Now let's check your answers. Tell me, Claudia, do me a favor. Can you ask the question to somebody in the class? Claudia Carolina. ¿Cómo es la pregunta, Do you have a pet? The number one? Yes. Yes, I don't. Yes, I don't. Do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Uh, yes. yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Do you have a pet, Claudia? Yes, I do. Very good. Okay, Claudia, ask question to somebody else. Ask question number two. Do they? Do they sell computers? Computers? Do they sell computers. computers? Yes or no? Um, yes? No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. Okay. Vaya, Claudia, pregúntele a alguien más la número tres. ¿A quién le vamos a preguntar? Okay. Zulma. Okay, Zulma. Do, do we study English at night? Do we study English at night? Yes, we do. We do. Excellent. Yes, we do. Zulma, ask number four. Okay. Um, Marlon, do you live in, in Mexico? Do you live in Mexico? No, <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. I don't. Okay. Now, Marlon, ask question number five. Ah, okay, teacher. Um, let me see. Diego. Diego, do you type letters? No, I don't. Okay. Now, Diego, ask number six. Yeah, okay, let's see. Do they yeah. travel for business? Uh, Rene. Okay. Do they travel for business? Um, yes, they do. Okay, very good. Excellent. Any questions here? No questions. 
Now let's go to the presentation again. Okay, check here. We have, remember we're talking about routine, right? So we have Oneida Chicas and Nelly Pineda. What they do, what they don't do. Okay, they create software, they repair computers, they install antivirus, right? But they don't sell computer programs and they don't exchange information about the programs, right? They create software, they repair computers, they install antivirus, but they don't sell computer programs and they don't exchange information about the program. Now, let's see Ricardo Mata and Max Pinto. What do they do? Mm -hmm. They... They keep track on the sales. Okay, what else? They they do write reports. Yes. And they do buy new merchandise. They buy merchandise. Very good. What is something that they don't do? They don't receive money from sales. Mm -hmm. They don't receive money from sales and they, and they don't... don't decide what to buy. Exactly. So what you're going to do here is to answer some questions. Yes, answer questions about Oneida, Agnelli, and Ricardo and Max. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, wait. Let we go. Check the question. Number one, do Oneja and Nelly work with softwares? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Do Ricardo and Max get money from sales? No, they don't. Okay. No. <laughs> Bless you. I'm going to give you one minute for you to go back to the, the text, right? And then answer the questions. Okay. And two minutes, and then we'll check together. Okay, you let me know whenever you finish.
Tom. Okay, perfect. What about the others? Let me know when you finish so we can start checking. Okay, finish, finished, not yet, one more minute. Finish. Excellent. Diego is the one who doesn't have internet, right? Okay, are you ready, ready, ready? Okay, number one, we said, do only dynamic work with softwares? Yes or no? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Ricardo and Max get money from sales? No, they don't. They, no, they don't. Okay. Ricardo and Max repair computers? No, they don't. No, they don't. <laughs> Do Oneida and Nelly sell antivirus? No, they don't. No, they don't. 
to Ricardo and Max write reports? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Okay. Do Oneida and Nelly install programs? Yes, no, they, they do. do. No, they don't. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. No, they don't. They install, install antivirus. They install antivirus. Mm -hmm. No program. It's program. No program. Uh -huh, no, no program. No, they don't. Uh -huh, no, they don't. Because no, they, they install don't. antivirus, no programs, right? They'll sell computer. They don't sell computer programs. So that's why probably they don't install them because they don't sell them. Okay. Any questions here? Questions, questions. Mm -hmm. No questions? No questions. Teacher. Tell me. Yeah, un antivirus es considerado como un programa. Okay. Okay, if you take an antivirus like a program, then you can say yes, they do. Right? Mm -hmm. But. Un antivirus es un utilitario, no un programa. Ok, o podría ser como un programa utilitario, sí. Podríamos sí, decir siendo que... un programa. Sí, viene siendo siempre un programa. Ok, so we can say yes, they. Yes, they. ¿De qué? Yes, they do. Ah, ok, yes, they do. Ok. Any questions? No questions. No question. Nice. Now I have some pictures for you here. So you go like, or you tell me more questions. Let's see number one here. Mm -hmm. What can you ask? Do you, do you water? Do you water the plants? Do you water the flower? Do you water the flowers? Yes. Do you water the garden? Okay. Do you water the garden? Uh -huh. Do you have a garden? Yes. Do you have a garden? Yes. Or no? Yes. Yes. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Okay, yes, I do. Now, what about number two? Do they? Do they? Do they like a smile? Okay, do they like smiling? Mm, great. What else can you ask? Do they take selfies? <laughs> Taking a selfie, right? So do they take selfies? Yes? Do they picture? Uh-huh, picture. But a picture like this to me. So you can say a selfie, right? Mm -hmm. Do they take selfies? What do you think? Yes? Yes. Yes, they. They. Do. Yes, they say. That. Yes, they do. Very good. What about the last one? What can you ask about this one? Mm -hmm. Do they? Do they have an experiment? Do they have a what? Do they have a what? Do you have a how? No. no. Do they have an experiment? Okay, do they okay. have an experiment? I can say I can do it. Okay. Do they have an experiment? Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Let's go to the next picture. 
check here. Uh -huh. What can you ask here? Does she, I imagine it's she, right? But you will say, do you? Do you? Do you have, do you like money? <laughs> do you like money? Of course, I like money, right? Okay. Do you have money? Do you have money? Okay. Uh, okay, what about do you this? Have a, a do, you have, do you have a count money? Do you have a, a, a hat? Do you have to count money? Yes, do you have to count money? Great. Mm -hmm. you do you have a ring? Do you have a ring? No. Do you have a ring? Who has a ring? Anillo. Anillo. Uh -huh. Do you have a ring? Yes, no. Yes. Okay. No, I don't. Yes, I. Yes, I. No. Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. I, I do. Or? No. No, no, I don't. No, I don't. I don't. Okay, no, I don't. Now tell me, what about this voice here? What can you ask in the second picture? They Do, are they students? Okay. Are they students? Do, they have, do they have a meeting? Do they have a, a meeting? Reunion? A meeting, yes. Do they have a meeting? Do they have a meeting? What else? Today brings today brings coffee. Okay, today make coffee. Okay, great. What else? Do they work? Do they work? Mm -hmm. Do they work hard? Yes, do they work hard? Do they college? Do they study at college? Yes. Study at college. Do they do they homework? Do they do the homework? Mm -hmm. Una cosa. Vamos a escribir esa pregunta. Fíjese. Vamos a ver. Let's insert. Do they do? Do they do the homework? Do they do the homework? ¿Qué le ven a esta pregunta? Dos veces eh, el verbo do, solo que en uno se ocupa como auxiliar y el otro se ocupa como verbo. Yes, exactly, exactly. Here, this is the auxiliary, right? Mm -hmm. We said we cannot make questions yes. without the auxiliary. And the other one is the verb, right? This is the verb. Do they do the homework? Do they do the dishes? Do they do the laundry? Porque do también es un verbo, ¿verdad? Entonces, a veces da como lugar a confusión y usamos bien galán el auxiliar con todos los demás verbos, pero cuando tenemos que hacer una pregunta que lleva do, ahí es donde, eh, pero si yo ya puse do, sí, es cierto, pero este do es el auxiliar para hacer preguntas Y este es el verbo que me pone No digo make, sino que digo do. ¿Sí? I do the homework. No puedo decir I make the homework. ¿Verdad? I do the homework. Do you do the homework? 
pediu não. Deus. Não. Ok. Hablando de homework, ¿cómo vamos en la plataforma? Very nice. Very nice. Ok, very good. El sábado que estuve recogiendo notas, vi por ahí unos huequitos. Hay que llenar esos huecos. Este sábado que recoja notas, quiero ver puros cienes allí. ¿Verdad que sí? Yes. Revisen, traten de revisar pronto por si tienen algún problema hasta el último día, ¿verdad? Que se nos complica. Okay, vayan viendo. Ok, any question here? No question. No. No question. Ok. Anybody has a question? Preguntas, preguntas. No preguntas. ¿No? No Estamos bien. Muy bien. Bien. Let's go to the manual. Right? Let's go to the manual. Page 24 in your manual. Page 24. One second. You have a question. Do you have a question? Tell me. When I said that in the small space that we're going to be using, eh, normalmente en la plataforma eh, tenemos que ver como la videoconferencia a ver, luego eh, nos da un espacio de discusión, es necesario poner discusiones ¿poner? hacer discusiones ¿en la plataforma? ¿sí? allí se les, eh, hoy les voy a poner unas preguntas para que ustedes entren y respondan la pregunta de acuerdo a usted Sí, porque en la, en la, anterior, anteriormente no se había visto nada, lo que era nada de, de discusión. Y después de la discusión va a la tarea, ¿verdad? En la unidad 1 había una pregunta, no sé si la vieron por allí. Había una pregunta con el verbo tú. Ayuda a Entonces la parte de discusión es para que ustedes entren y, y respondan. ¿verdad? Poniendo en práctica lo que van viendo ahí. Y los demás ejercicios que igual ¿verdad? son relacionados con, con los ejercicios que vamos a hacer. Ok, let's go to the manual. Page 24 in your manual. 24. Ready. <coughs> Page 24. What you're going to do here is complete the exercise. Write the questions. Look at the word given and then you make questions there.
Eh, Henry, le voy a mandar el link acá al, al chat de, de Zoom para que se una al grupo de WhatsApp hoy. Gracias. Cierro una consulta. Dígame. Con lo que mencionó de la parte de discusión en la plataforma. Sí. ¿Y cómo funciona? Ustedes entran, leen la pregunta o preguntas que están allí y le escriben la respuesta. Responden la pregunta porque es una discusión. Como, como tipo foro, ¿verdad? Pero ahorita es, es mini, un foro chiquito, digamos. Mm. Uh -huh. Entonces ahí entra y usted escribe una respuesta a la pregunta que se le provee. Sí que ahorita, bueno, no sé si... La de si la... Yo la soy el que sí, no, la de la unidad 2 todavía no está ahí la pregunta, Salvador. No, es que ya no, la había, no, no, no había visto esta parte yo. Uh, ah, te estoy viendo que dice answer the question about you. Pero la, no entiendo cuál es la pregunta acá. Are you a technician? Es que fíjese que la pregunta quedó bien chiquita. Ah, ah chispas. Sí, ahí, you está, ahí está a un lado del ejemplo. Ajá. Sí, es que no se observa. Ajá, ya, ya, ok, ya, ya, ya comprendido. Ya vamos a ver qué hacemos en ese pregunta de más grande. Okay, how are you doing with the questions? Henry, ya, ya le mandé el link allí al chat de, de Zoom. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. Write the questions. Remember that there you're using the words in parentheses to write your question, right? Just two questions. Remember that you need to use the auxiliary in the question, right? Thank you. 
Okay, tell me when you finish so we can go check. Ernesto finish, right? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Salvador finished? Yes, I am. Okay, great, great. Jonathan, did you finish? Sí. Okay. I see Rina working, Daisy. No yet. Okay. Rene, you finished? Yes, okay, great. Shulma, did you finish? Yes. Hello. No, yes. How are you, Jorge Nelson? Did you finish? No, yes. Okay, one minute and then we start checking, okay? Okay. Henry, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Well, we will start checking them. Let's see number one. Who can tell me the question? Okay, do you work? Do you work? Company. ¿Qué más le tenemos que agregar para que la oración se vea bonita? La pregunta. Do you work at company? Okay. A company. At a company. Okay. Do you work at a company? Yes or no? Well, we are given. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I. Yes, I do. I do. I do. Yes, I do. Very good. What about question number two? Do they, do they check a product? Do they check what? Do they check the products? The products, very good. Do they check the products? No. No, they don't. No, no they don't. Mm -hmm. Do they check the products? No, they don't. What about number three? 
Do we listen to the customers? Uh -huh. Do we listen to the customers? Do we listen to the customers? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Very good. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about number four? Do I buy a new material? Mm -hmm. Do I? Do I buy new material? No, I don't. No, I don't. Mm. Do I? No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. ¿Qué sucede si yo digo, do you buy new material? Es lo contrario. Ajá, exactly. Do you buy new material? No. I don't. I don't. Mm -hmm. Do you buy new material? No, I don't. I don't know. Do I buy new material? No. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. Uh -huh. So no, that's something we have to be careful, right? Do I buy new material? No, you don't. Do you buy new material? No, no I don't. I don't. Okay. No, I don't. Great. And what about five? Do Pablo. Aha, uh -huh. tell me the complete question. Uh, logo design. Mm -hmm. What are we missing? What are we missing there? <clears throat> do Milena and Pablo logo design? Yeah, do Milena, do Milena and Pablo. Okay. Logo design. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Design the love. Design the love. Yo le voy a poner logos para que suene así como más bonito, porque si diseña no va a diseñar solo uno. ¿Verdad? Do Milena and Pablo design logos? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Okay, very good. Very good transition from Milena and Pablo to they. Y lo mismo pasa acá. Y por ejemplo, in, instead of we, puedo decir, do they see and I listen to customers? They see and I, o sea, yo estoy incluida, right? Do they see and I? Listen to the customers. Podría cambiar la pregunta. Depende si le estoy preguntando. Si le estoy preguntando a todos los demás. ¿Te han fijado en eso? Teacher. Hola, hola. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Deja pregunta 5. No se puede utilizar en vez de usar los nombres. Today. Claro que sí. sí. Claro que sí. Se puede usar el pronombre bueno. en vez de los nombres. Y chequen acá. Es, es esta, esta. Por ejemplo. Este es igual que cuando le pregunto do I y usted me dice yes you do. Si yo le pregunto do we, do we, todos nosotros incluidos y por eso ocupo we, pero probablemente usted esté o no incluido. Entonces, ¿cómo vamos a hacer? ¿Cómo saber si ocupo 
Yes, we do or no, we, or yes, uh, you do. Hmm? Va, imagine. Aquí estamos. Salvador, Zulma, and Nelson. ¿Sí? Y preguntamos, do we listen to the customers? Pero nos preguntamos entre nosotros. Cuatro. Do we listen to the customers? ¿Quién nos vamos a responder? Yes, we do. Yes, yes we do. do. Yes, we do porque nos estamos preguntando aquí los cuatro. Do we listen to the customers? Te vamos a decir. Mm. Pero, ¿qué sucede si estamos nosotros aquí? Pero yo le pregunto a alguien más que no está en el grupito de nosotros. ¿Sí? ¿Cómo me respondería? Do we listen to the customers? Cheque, que si vamos a usar we, usted estaría ahí. Listen to the customers. Do we listen to the customers? Yes, we do. Do we listen to the customers? Capital letter? No. Do we listen to the customers? Yes. ¿Cuál es la diferencia aquí? ¿Quién me puede decir? Si usted no está incluido en el grupito de lo que yo digo we, entonces usted me responde you. Pero si usted está incluido dentro de este grupito, entonces dice yes, we do. Okay. Is that clear for you? Yes, we do. Yes. Okay. For example, if I say, do we, do we study at night? Do we study at night? Todos nosotros, todos ustedes incluidos. Do yes, we do. Yes, we do. yes, we do. Porque ustedes están incluidos. Pero si yo digo, ok, Zulma, Zulma, and I study at night. Do Zulma and I study at night. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Porque en ese caso, aunque siempre seamos we, no está ¿Verdad? Yes. Any, any question here? No question. Okay. No question. Vamos a checar la attendance of the day. The last one, right? Sí. Ok. Claudia, Carolina. Present. Ok, Claudia. Claudia Xiomara. Present. Right. Daniel Antonio. Present. Okay. Daisy Yesenia. Present. Nice. Diego Armando. Diego, ya no puedo volver, Diego. Stephanie Jamilet. Stephanie. Stephanie, hello. ¿Cómo está Stephanie? Stephanie Jamilet. Okay. Eh, Henry Salet. Presente. Ok, great. Jonathan David. Jonathan. Present. Okay. Jose Ernesto. 
Present. Okay. Jose Nestor, right? Jorge Nelson. Present. Where are you? No lo logré ver. Jorge Nelson. Present. Okay. Eh, Lea. Lea, Lea. Muy bien. María Elena. María Elena. Marlon Edmundo. Present. Great. Nelson Alberto. Present. I'm here. Okay, nice. Rafael Antonio. Rafael. Ricardo. Ricardo. Rina Aura. Presente. Excellent. Salvador. Present. Great. Sulma. Present, teacher. Okay. And Rene. Present. Okay, perfect. All right, done. Nice. Vamos a ver quién se queda conmigo hoy. Xiomara, Claudia Xiomara. Well, have a nice day. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, teacher. Bye -bye. Bye-bye. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. Bye bye, Jorge Nelson. Okay, tell me, Claudia, do you have any questions? Uh, yes, teacher. Um, con no sé cómo decirle que a mí se me dificulta bastante porque. Cuando hace las preguntas, como son en inglés, y para mí no es muy fluido todavía, entonces es como que si yo me quedo en el limbo. Okay. Entonces, tal vez yo sé las respuestas, pero no acato las indicaciones, porque no me queda como que muy claro. Y entonces eso siento que, que, que me está dificultando a mí bastante. Yo sé que muchos van muy avanzados, ¿verdad? Y lo comprenden. Pero quizás así como yo, hay tal vez algo otras personas más que tenemos ese problema. Cuando se cuando sienta que se queda, pregúnteme. Oye. Sí, sí, claro. A veces he intentado, pero otro se adelantó y entonces ya me queda a mí como que claro, ¿verdad? Y, y, y voy igual, ¿verdad? Eh, tomando notas y, y todo. Claro que sí. Y sabe, algo importante es eh, preguntar, 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 preguntar. ¿Tiene dudas? Pregunte. ¿Verdad? Y el video lo puede volver a ver. Esa sí. es una ventaja, que el video queda subido en la plataforma y lo puede volver a ver. ¿Verdad? Ahorita, sí. ¿en qué tiene preguntas, Claudia? ¿En eh, qué podemos eh, ayudar? Fíjese, teacher, que ahorita más que todo sería con lo de las tareas. Yo he entrado a la plataforma, pero este, yo he nada más respondido las preguntas. Uh -huh, uh -huh. No sé si el video que está ahí, pues a veces me queda muy poco tiempo por mejor el elaborarlo. Video, entonces. El video es el video de, esta, de la clase. Ajá. Por ejemplo, si cuando usted va a entrar a hacer el ejercicio, ve que algo le cuesta mucho y que no lo logra captar, puede ver el video, pedacito del video, saltarse, ¿verdad? Los pedacitos que que siente que le pueden ayudar para completar la, 
la tarea, por ejemplo, la explicación, como a veces hay parte, ¿verdad?, que se explica y se manda a trabajar. Entonces, se puede adelantar a esos pedacitos para ir repasando lo que, le, lo que usted siente que le cueste. Sí. Y otra cosa más, por ejemplo, eh, ahora estábamos resolviendo, yo me apoyo un poco en mi hija porque sabe un poquito de inglés, vea. Entonces, en las preguntas en estas últimas que estábamos haciendo, este, realmente el, el, tenemos que utilizar el do. Do, sí. Vamos a utilizar ah. el do porque es lo que les comentaba. En español no existen los auxiliares para preguntas. ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. ahí donde uno se puede quedar así. ¿Por qué este do de dónde viene? Y es porque sí. en en inglés sí tenemos que usar el auxiliar do para hacer las preguntas, pero en español no existe. Entonces, uh -huh. eh, si usted le va a preguntar a alguien, ya comió. Si usamos ya en, en inglés, no va a usar ya, ¿verdad? En la pregunta. Pero en sí. español, ya comió o comió. Y solamente el signo de interrogación que dejamos entonar al final es el que nos ayuda a saber que es una pregunta a la que se está haciendo. Uh -huh. Leyó este libro, o lee el libro, o usted lee, ¿verdad? Usted lee. Usted... Sí, es el tono en, que, en el que lo decimos, ¿verdad? El tono el que le ayuda a saber qué es pregunta. Pero uh -huh. en inglés, lo que nos va a ayudar, aparte de la entonación, cuando usted hace una pregunta, va hacia arriba, siempre, en inglés. Do you have uh -huh. pets? Do you have pets? Sí, do you have pets, pero el auxiliar también nos va a ser de mucha, o sea, es súper importante. Do you have a pet? Do you have a pet? Yes, I do. Y es lo que les comentaba, por ejemplo, eh, respecto al verbo to be. ¿Se acuerdan? Uh -huh. El año pasado, la semana pasada, el año pasado. <risa> la semana pasada estuvimos haciendo preguntas en el verbo to be. Entonces, si yo le pregunto a usted, are you a student? Usted me responde, yes, I am. Yes, yes. yes I mm -hmm. am. Pero si yo le pregunto, do you study? Entonces, ¿qué me respondería? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Perfect. Do you mm -hmm. have a cat? Do you have a cat? No. I, I, no, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, do you have a cat? No, I don't. Do you work in an office? Office is oficina. Do you yes. work in an office? Yes. Yes, yeah, I, I do. I do. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Do you write letters? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you answer the phone? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you send emails? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you... Uh, ahí sí, le, le quisiera agregar yo más, como no solamente hacer la, la respuesta corta, sino que digamos, yes, I do every day. Yes, I do. I send emails every day. Entonces ahí oh. puede irse a, lo, a las oraciones como las estuvimos haciendo ayer. Entonces, si yo le pregunto, do you send emails? Entonces, usted me dice, yes, I do. I send emails. Uh, every day. Do you write letters? Yes, I do. I write a lot of letters. ¿Sí? Entonces, usted le puede agregar, aparte de dar la respuesta corta, también usted puede extenderse un poquitito más a dar un poquito más de información. Ok. Ok, any, any other question, Claudia? No, teacher. Ok. Entonces, sí, acuérdese, siempre el auxiliar, do, nos ayuda mm -hmm. a hacer la pregunta. Por ejemplo, la última es que le decía yo, do you do? Porque algunas veces cuando estamos usando todos los demás verbos, no tenemos problema con el auxiliar, pero cuando vamos a usar el, el verbo do, que es hacer, 
te hace como que inmenso. ¿Por qué? Pero si ya tengo tú al principio, ¿verdad? Y voy a volver a usar tú. Pero ese tú es el verbo. Y el que tenemos al principio es el auxiliar. Entonces, el auxiliar. Do, do. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. do you do the homework? Do you, el auxiliar, do. Y después el verbo. Do you do the homework? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you do the dishes? Que es lavar los platos. ¿Verdad? Do you do the dishes? I don't. No, you don't. Oh, I don't. What? Wow, that's amazing. Okay. Because I would say yes, I do. Okay, so you say no, I. No, I don't. I don't. No, I don't. Do you cook? Do you cook? Um, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you sleep early? Um, early, ¿qué significa? Temprano. Temprano. No. No. No hay. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't sleep early. Early. Yes. So you say, no, I don't. I don't sleep early. O, no, I don't. I sleep late. Late es lo opuesto. Tarde. Tarde. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. I sleep late. Uh -huh. Oh, no, I don't sleep early. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Y ya sabe, tiene preguntas, pregúnteme, escríbame aquí al, al, al WhatsApp. Aquí me quedé con dudas. No se preocupe. Oye, esas es que dudas se van saliendo así poquito. Ok. Sí, sí, muchas gracias. A la orden. Cuídese mucho and see you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> bye bye. Happy night. Have a good night. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome.